Hello and welcome back to Chari's. Today I'm going to be talking about Queenie by Candice Carty Williams. Um, this came out in 2019 and it follows a 25 year old uh, Jamaican British girl called Queenie Jenkins. She lives in South London and works at a magazine and the story kicks off when she goes on a break with her live-in boyfriend, white boyfriend of three years. A lot of it is shenanigans with boys and friends and work, uh, but it's also about her going to a really dark place and pulling herself out of it again. This book had a lot of themes. <laughs> it dealt with so much and I think it did all of them of justice. I think it did a really good job across the board. The theme I think is most prominent is relationships. Um, it's about what we owe to each other as people and that, that covers family and friends and lovers. Queenie has a very complicated family um, where she has a really difficult relationship with, with her, her mother. Um, her father isn't really in the picture but she has a difficult relationship with him as well. Um, she spends a portion of the book living with her grandparents who are first generation immigrants from Jamaica um, and there's just a large divide, generational divide there between like how they um, you know keep the house and how they expect her to act um, and her just being like a normal 20 something in London. I think this epitomizes what your life is like in your mid 20s where you you're sort of on this breach of being really vulnerable and like not at all having your shit together but also having this like confidence of feeling like the world is your oyster and you've got all these friends and all these opportunities um, and you kind of feel like you're invincible but also like you're a scared little girl. <laughs> a lot of this book reminded me of being 23, 24, living in Camberwell, which is like right around the corner from where Queenie lives. Having this year of, I was doing a masters, I kind of felt like I was completely nailing life, but also I had all these like boy problems and all these like different groups of friends. And I like partied a little too hard, but also was working a little too hard. And I kind of just felt so on the cusp of life, you know? <laughs> also being about a girl in her mid twenties with lots of boy problems, um, she has a lot of sex, sometimes with random people, and I don't often see books talk about sexual health in a very, like, everyday way. And similarly, there's a lot of stuff about mental health, that's a huge theme in this book, um, about Queenie really, really struggling and um, kind of crying out for help in, in certain ways, and eventually seeing a counsellor um, and, you know, working with this therapist to develop techniques to handle some of her anxiety issues. And it's just so real, like it just covers so much of, of what a, a young person is dealing with, but in a way that actually like shows you the, the tools, <laughs> shows you how to um, deal with it. Like a, a lot of times she doesn't deal with them well, but then, you know, it does show you the, the way to, to go about things when you're a bit stuck. And with so little stigma attached, like she wasn't particularly aware of her mental health problems as mental health problems, but went through the journey that I think a lot of people do, where you do realize it actually is a problem and you can't deal with it without getting help, but you don't really know how to get help. Um, and then when you do get help and you start to work on it, but you know, you have setbacks and it's just very, so real. <laughs> One thing I really liked, um, which was a break from uh, her feeling like her um, grandparents who she was living with, wouldn't understand why she'd want to see a therapist and would like ban her from, like they ban her from like going out of the house to, to meet boys. <laughs> she, she was like, they will not enjoy me going to therapy and her grandma doesn't. Um, but then her granddad was like, just let her go. Maybe if all of us had learned to talk about our troubles, we wouldn't carry so much on our shoulders all the way to the grave. Maybe we have to learn from this new generation, Veronica. And oh, it's just so good. <laughs> Another key theme of this book, like the underlying theme of all of it, um, is race. So Queenie is is black Jamaican. I feel like I sometimes talk about like all the trendy books talking about this like topical thing, um, and I'm not trying to be <laughs> cynical about it. I think this book talked about race in a way that was like welcoming to people that felt uncomfortable, like that are not from this culture and don't understand it. It's welcoming and non-patronizing and not sugar-coated. Like it really does justice to some of the deepest frustrations of, of being black in the UK, um, but without being aggressive, aggressive, without making it something that she is, um, that's like her main character trait. Uh, I'm describing this so poorly. The way that race has impacted on Queenie's life and how that 
suffuses into every aspect of how she goes about the world. Whether that's the fetishization of her body when she's dating or co-switching at work or being perceived as uh, aggressive or unwanted in public spaces and like the gentrification of, of Brixton and the surrounding area. It gets all these things through really subtly um, but also very powerfully. Can you say something subtle and powerful? Well I just did. <laughs> One way I think Race has dealt with really well in this book um, is through her friendship. So she has these three best friends, Cheske, uh, Darcy and Cassandra. Cheske is black and really culturally different um, from Cassandra who is Jewish and Darcy who is just like me, I guess. Um, just like your average middle class white girl. Uh, they make this group chat called the Corgis because she's the queen. Uh, so Queenie can talk about all of her boy problems and stuff with her two, like, with her three best friends that had never really interacted before. And it's really funny to see them interact with each other and like not really get each other, but be really respectful of each other. <laughs> like Cheska will say something that Darcy doesn't understand. And Darcy's like, what's that? And Cheska's like, Urban Dictionary it mate and then she starts like using these these new phrases. I don't really know where I'm going with this besides it's a very realistic portrayal of like a young woman living her life and how all of these different parts of her identity affect how she's gone through the world. Overall I thought this was a very full-bodied book. It is a singular example of this person's experience spanning all aspects of their life. Um, there were some things I really didn't like about it, which pulled me down from enjoying it too much. Um, one thing is that I just personally could not respect anyone that doesn't work hard at work. I just find it, it's such a blocker for me. I, I literally can't be friends with people that don't work hard at work. Like if you're, if you're slacking off and you don't respect the fact that people are paying you money for your time, ugh. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Even like, even if you're the most perfect, brilliant, wonderful person or character, um, I just find that a huge blocker because it just reeks of entitlement and ego. And I did like Queenie broadly, but that just pissed me off. Um, the other thing is there are two plot points, two like events in the plot that I just thought were unrealistic. Like it just they 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 pulled me out of being able to enjoy the narrative because I was like that's they're just very like convenient and I just don't think worked with the thing but overall I thought it was a really good book I can see why it won loads of awards I think it's also being adapted by the BBC for television so that'll be exciting to watch did you enjoy it tell me what you thought about it or if there was anything that frustrated you about it um I would love to hear it also I love this cover like they also did a gold bright gold version for when it won the um british book awards book of the year uh but i just love this the you i'm not sure you can see but the gold foiling in the hair is so beautiful <laughs> we'll end it there thank you so much for watching i will see you next time goodbye